Hey everybody, BJ from Trophy Ridge Planter Boards, uh, the original clear board. We'll do a short video and explain to uh, everyone. I've been getting a lot of Facebook messages and text messages about the amount of weight uh, that can be fished behind these boards for the catfish guys. Uh, recently there was a video put out um, where the guy's using at least a pound of weight between the bait and the uh, sinker that he was using. And then a lot of guys are using the slinky weight. I want everybody to keep in mind that the more weight you put behind this board, the farther down in the water that it's going to sink. It's still going to float on top of the water. It would never sink with the type foam that I use. But as it floats farther down in the water column, it absorbs water naturally. Uh, not a problem with that, but the more water that it absorbs, the, f the further behind the boat it's going to lag and not get that true turn for the catfish guys. All you have to remember when you bring the board back into the boat every two hours, uh, maybe three times a trip, it's perfectly safe to squeeze this foam against the glass to push that water out. That will help it the next time you put it out to get back floating right and then after a couple of miles of dragging it you can take it back out and do it again but just to let everybody know uh, no harm in mashing this foam to squeeze the water out and you'll see the water come out of the uh, the board and slide down the glass uh, you're not going to break the board it's completely unbreakable but perfectly fine to do that even striper fishing uh, where i'm not using any weight I constantly do that to keep water. Uh, anything that comes up from the bottom and might uh, go inside and absorb inside that foam. It's perfectly normal and perfectly safe to push that foam against the glass. Thanks for watching.